Hey gals and guys, it's Chris Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com and today we are going to make Christmas cards with Canva and I'm going to show you some different tools and uh, different ways you can do this. We'll get some images or we'll use images on our own and maybe we'll make a couple cards. I don't have a, a clear plan for this video so I don't have bullet points to what I want to do but uh, we'll get there and I'll show you everything um, that we need to do in order to make those cards. So we're just laying in bed relaxing and we'll make some Christmas cards together. All right, sounds good. <laughs> all right, I'll link all this, all these uh, links down in the description. So here's one Canva specifically for Christmas cards. So there is a link for them to, for you to create the Christmas card. They got a little video here if you want an overview on this stuff. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it using various tools beyond um, Canva. So uh, we can go here as well and uh, in order to create a design and we can go here and we can look for cards. Here's card portrait um, or we can just go here on my keyboard and just put in um, greeting card, I do believe. Or you can put Christmas card probably and then there should be templates that come up for that. All right, and then um, so these the stuff with the if you're not aware with Canva, Canva or whatever the hell you call it, um, the crowns here is for pro version, so that's a version that you would pay for, or you can get like a 30 day uh, free trial, or the ones without the stars you can just um, those are those are free to use. So we'll find we'll find this one right here. So I'm gonna just grab this and let's customize the tab. Uh, the template. So really what I'm going to do is, I mean, there's, there's certain ways you can do this. Let's look at some of the tools. So if you have a photo, go to, go to, you might have them on your, on your desktop. You might have them in Facebook. Just grab a photo that you might use. We'll do this a couple ways. We'll, we'll do a photo that we have, and then we'll create a generate a photo. So I downloaded from uh, actually, a friend, Miguel Pell's um, Facebook, uh, some pictures. So I'm going to decide which picture to use. And what we'll do with that picture is here's some tools for AI that you can clear it up, you can enhance it, and you can remove the background. So we can do both. Uh, there's tons of tools out there if you look on Google. Uh, this is just one particular tool out of the blue. So let's, uh, if you have an image, go to Facebook. Maybe you have an image on your, on your desktop. Go ahead and grab that. And if it needs to be, maybe it's beautiful. Maybe a photographer took it and it's already fine. But um, if you find it needs a little, little TLC, then we'll just, uh, we'll do that. I, I was playing around with these two. So let's grab a one that I haven't used. So let's go with this one. That's her grandmother and her son. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Um, there's really nothing much to clean up here. They both they look good. And let's see, you have so many credits. So if you sign up, you have so many credits to be used to download HD. I think I still got some credits left. So we'll download that. And then what I also want to do is do background remove just so I have it. So we'll grab the same picture. And we'll do, it looks nice. So we'll do, we'll download that. We'll see if I have any credits left. All right, let's go back here. And there they are right there. I want to rename them something. So I can get my stupid head out of the way. And I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to rename it. Uh, I'm just going to put grandma. And then I'm going to put... Grandma, I don't know. Grandma, grandma, no background. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can get rid of that background. So if you look at them, it looks very clear. It's a clear picture. Let's look at the other one and see how that is. The original. See, it's pretty clear, anyways. It didn't really have much to enhance. And then you've got this one um, with the background. There's a little. I can't tell if that's his hair or not, or just from the back. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so those two pictures we're going to work with. And let's, um, I'm going to close these. And I'm going to close these. Now, this is the uh, enhancer that that program uses, uh, or this website cutout uses, is Vivid. 
that's what it's it's grabbing from. You can see right here, Vivid. So if you want to download that for um, your smart device, be it your your Android or your iPhone, you can go right here, and and I'll put that in the description as well if you want to do that. So let's load these up to Canva in our um, our new Christmas card that we're going to do. Our template is the word I'm trying to think of. And we can get rid of all this stuff. I just used it to get the size. And if we want to change the background color, I want to change it to, um, I want it kind of more, yeah, kind of more like this color. And perfect. So that's the kind of color I want for that. Get rid of all this stuff. You can just you can just left click and drag, and you can grab them all at once. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this. All right. And so you can change different colors. And you can go back to uploads and you can drag this along and place it where you want. One on the bottom. And then you can find. Um, so if you go to, there's two sites, if you're not aware of, I mean, a lot of this stuff is in my past tutorials, so seek those out. Um, and I elaborate a lot more on this stuff, but there's two sites. There's there's Pexels and there's Pixabay, and there's a lot more than that. I mean, there's different ones out there, and this is where you can get some free images, some commercial free images. Um, if you're doing this for personal use, I mean, you can go to Google Images. It's not like you're selling this stuff, you're sending it along. So you can get, um, you can put in Christmas card or Christmas background. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. And we'll get something interesting. We'll get this one and we'll download, we'll save this image or we'll do free download. And then we'll go back to our template, our Canva template. We don't need this anymore. Um, so there it is right there. We'll download it. And we'll actually, I'm going to make this the background. I'm going to shrink my dumb ass here. If you need me, I'll be right down here. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to grab this and put this over here. Maybe put it down here. I mean, this is all just for examples, obviously. And then if you want to, um, we can try this. This is all a lot. You get this as trial and error, but if you see this little sparkling thing uh, icon down here, if you hit this, oh, actually grab this first, grab the image you want to do it with, and then you'll get this option where it says magic edit. So you can click on that. And what we're going to do is, um, uh, I wonder if it's doing it. Doing it or not? All right, I'm going to see if it's doing this or not. So I'm going to do this and hit continue. I'm going to put Christmas hat or Santa hat. Santa hat. Okay, and then I'm going to generate. Let's see what happens here. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so. Different hats. Doesn't look overly great. <laughs> you can play around with it um, if you want. Or we can do, all right, let's do cancel. So let's grab onto this again. Let's grab magic. Let's try. Well, see, now it's doing that. Okay. So let's do the whole image. Do we want to do the whole image? All right, let's do this. Let's do. Let's see how this works. And I mean, I'm just playing around. I don't exactly know how this is going to turn out. You got to play play around with it, obviously. So once you're done with this video, uh, we'll continue. I'll put Christmas sweater on here. Just giving you the, the basics to get going and uh, and to play. So let's see what Christmas sweater does. Okay, it gives him a Christmas sweater, obviously. So you can see which one. No, I don't know that tree's over there. <laughs> okay, so that's more that's more like it. So 
if you want to give them a sweater, there you go. We'll go done. And then um, if you want, we can put text. And either you can choose from these. Again, the free ones are without the crown. So like if you want to choose this one, you can go ahead. And if you want to change the color, you can do that right here. Like if you want it red. Oops. Sorry. If you want it red. Now it should be red. All right. Or you're just highlight it and delete it if you don't want that. Or you can just make your own here. We'll go here. And then I'm just going to put in um, Merry Christmas. And we'll center it in a minute. Okay. There's different fonts that you can play with. So play with the fonts. There's tons and tons of fonts to play with. If you want to change the color, here we go. And then I'm going to keep it white. And I'm actually going to do this. Now it is centered. So you can hit this here if you want, it, uh, depending on where you want it positioned. We'll keep it centered. For effects, we'll put a shadow in there. And if I want to change the color of the shadow, just hit that, hit here. And then um, I want to change that, actually. OK, so here is. Let's see, I don't want to offset a transparency. I want more. You can change the direction on there. Yeah, that looks good. And then you can just place it where you want. And if you want it bigger, then here's the font size right here. Oops. Go back. Grab the whole thing. And then I want the whole font size. There you go. So that's an example. What I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to, what do I want to do? All right, so here's another tool that you can use. So it's right here. All right, so this will be in the description. This is a color pick eyedropper. So what I want to do is, and that's once you download it, it's going to um, go up here with your plugins. If you want to pin your plugin, like say I want to plan, pin Adobe Acrobat, or let's un no, let's unpin this. I'm going to unpin this. All right. So I want that I want that color picker to be up here where it's pinned with my other with my other plugin. So I go here. There's a color pick I drop off. Okay. So you just pin that like there and there it is right there. Or unpin it and then it's gone. Okay. So I'll go back to this. Um, I don't think I need this. I'll go back to this and I'll hit this. I want this. I want this color right here, so I'm going to copy the color code, the hex code, um, and then I'll just hit this, and I hit the X just to get it out of there. I'm going to go down here, and then I'm going to hit there, and then right, hit it right here, and you can put in whatever color you want, and there you go. So it's pretty much the same color back and front, and I'm going to show you a couple things you can do. There's a couple ways we can make the card. So we're going to download this, and because if we download this, we're going to, yep, I want PNG. All right, it's going to download as a, as a zip file, or you can download them one at a time. I'll show you how to do that. If, if you want to download them one at a time, just go here, click that, and you can do this, download that one. It doesn't matter either way. You just have to unzip the file. So you download them. So that's front and back. Okay. So that's how you do that. All right. Say we're, we're, we're going to get back to what we downloaded. All right. Let's say we want to print from Canva. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to share. We're going to go to print with Canva. And what we're going to do is find your, I mean, you can do landscape if you want. Um, I'm going to do portrait, okay, for my card. So I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to hit resize design. All right, and then there we go. And what I'm going to do here is, so that's the outside. That's the inside, as you can see. So I'm going to move this over here. Crop this off because that's going to be the front. Grab this, put that there. I'm going to get rid of the original. So I'm just going to highlight that and delete it. I'm going to move my Dopey head. I'm going to move Merry Christmas back over here. 
Okay, and then I want my back the same color, so I've already done the eyedropper, so I'm going to do that. Or you can go down here if you don't like that particular color. Let's try it again. So let's try that eyedropper again. And we're going to go here. We're going to try it darker. All right, we'll go back here. Oops. Let's go here and get that out of there. And we're going to go back here, and we're going to grab this, and then we're going to make it a little darker. All right, so that would be the back of the card. So you can kind of preview it and kind of see what it looks like. So if you go like this, you hit this right here, you see these two arrows, you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. The picture's a little flat. Um, I probably do something like in Photopea to liven it up. I can show you how to do that. So this is the outside. That's the inside. All right. That's what it looks like with the envelope. And then it looks like if it's on someone's mantle. So let's go back. Let's go here. And um, that's the outside. That's the inside. So I want to make this a different color. I want to actually... Uh, make it that kind of diff that off white color that was on there before. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go here and kind of might kind of make it reddish. All right, and that will be the inside. Now um, you can put whatever you want as far as so. We'll go here, and you can put. Um, I'm just going to leave it as add a. Well, no, I'll, I'll put something in there. Um, you can, have a Merry Christmas or something. Have a, put in obviously whatever you want. Merry. Okay. Oops. Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. So we'll shrink this up. Shrink this up. Oops. Shrink this up. Okay. And then kind of make it center. Then if you want to increase the font, you certainly can. And then if you want, like that is something big, and then you want something else underneath it as smaller, you can do that. Let's do love. We'll put a comma there. All right, so say you want to do a signature. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just, if you have a scanner, which I have over there, you just get a white piece of paper and a pen, sign your name, and scan it. And then um, there's more to it, and I'll try to I'll try to explain that to you. But um, I actually uploaded a scanned photo or a, a scanned signature. So here it is. That is my scanned signature. Now there's a step that you have to go to get it to look like this, to get it to be transparent. Um, I'm not sure if you can go to one of these transparent programs and make it transparent. You probably can. Another thing you can do is go to, okay, so I want an online signature. So I'll have this link down in the description. I'll have all these links down in the description actually. So there's sign well. Let's put here so it can get you linked right to the exact place you need to be and then um, you can either draw a signature so obviously you can do the best you can with um, your mouse or unless you have like a, a what do you call it with a stylus and a pad uh, hooked up to your computer you can use that or you can just use this and then I'll just put in my name and we'll continue with that. And then there you go. That kind of looks like my signature actually right there. Uh, but you can kind of pick what you want and then just click on it. And then um, you can save it, download it. Now you can do a transparent right here. So we'll do transparent background. And then you can download it and just go back to this. Just drag it over. Where is it? Here it is, right here. Okay, and then, so we'll get rid of this one. And then we'll bring this over, and there you go. And then if you got multiple family members, you just do the same thing for each one. Or um, you can scan it, or you can use your mouse. And scanning is probably a pain in the butt. Because you gotta you gotta put it in Photopea, you gotta take out the white 
area and it's probably just easier to do it this way. I mean, you can do it this way. So for instance, um, I'm not sure if I have a signature with a white area. Let me check here. Um, maybe I do. This is transparent. Um, let's try this. Okay, perfect. So you can do it. I mean, if you do scan it and it's on your computer and you have a white background, um, what you would have to do is, okay, let's see how much this is. This is 360, this is 369 by 88. So I'll just make a new one, 369, 369, 88. And I will make it transparent. Jeez, I haven't used Photoshop and Photopea in so long just because of the, all the AI and because of Canva. I just don't need it anymore. So copy. And then you're going to paste. And then you'll use this wand tool. And you'll wand it. And then you'll hit delete. And then you'll have to go into anything that um, is closed, delete, and so on so forth and then you just uh, once you're done getting all the white space out of there you're gonna export it as a png because if you do a jpeg it's not going to work you're still going to have a white background png is going to be i'm just going to put this and just show you all right so if we go back to our project and where is this where is this where is this <laughs> oh yeah it's a Okay, we'll go this. So as you can see, there you go. So it's transparent. I just had to get the I just I would just have to get the rest of this white space out of there. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you want to sign it, scan it to your computer. Uh, go to Photopea, which I will. I have other tu tutorials for Photopea. I'll put the link in the description for Photopea. Um, seek out my other tutorials for Photopea if you want to learn how to use it. But your best bet, especially if you're not, you know, if you don't use computer a lot, if you're not computer savvy at all. Um, just use, just use this program, use this website. Okay, so there we go. This is our card. If we want to, um, we can put pictures in there. So let me grab another picture. If you want to do that, let me grab, um, I don't know, I'll grab this one. Okay, you know, if you want to put a picture in here on the other side, or you can play around with it, do a bunch, do like a, uh, what do you call it, with a bunch of pictures. Oh, my God, I'm on, i got an old brain. <laughs> collage, a collage. You can do like a collage of pictures, or you can do collage with text, um, or you could just do text on here, write, write something of what's been going on for the year, um, which may be a poem, a story, whatever you want to do on this side. Or don't do anything, just leave it blank. And... Um, yeah, you can do that. Oops, I didn't want to do that. You can add that. All right. And then uh, let's take a look at it. Obviously, these are all examples. This is not what I would send out. Uh, why is this? Hang on a second. I screwed something up. Um, oh, I see why. Oh, I see what you can do. So you can make both the inside and the outside. Okay, we don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Um, so let's go back. We made a mistake. We learned how to do that. All right. So that's uh, the outside. That's the inside. There it, is. there it is on the mantle. And then you can go down, see what kind of paper you want. Um, that's the grade, obviously. So matte finish. If you want a gloss, I'm sure it's more expensive. This seems kind of expensive. You think $85 for 50 cards? Include envelope for $8. So it's $93 altogether. I would assume there's tax. And there's the details. And it's free delivery. Oh, okay. So it's free delivery. Let's continue. Um, adjust edges. Now that's fine. Yeah, just make sure there is a bleed when they print. So try not to put anything that you want cut off on the edges here. Yeah. So add to cart. Let's go to checkout, and then 
So free is seven to 14 business days. That's why I'm making this tutorial now. And then put in all your information and then hit continue. And then it'll ask for your credit card and so on and so forth. Um, um, And I'm not going to place order. Does that include the tax and everything? Extras. It doesn't say tax. So there's a coupon code. Okay, we'll apply. Sorry, this coupon you entered is invalid. Okay, maybe you go out on Google and find a coupon code. Um, but so for 50 cards, for your, your general, no gloss, uh, 93 bucks for 50 cards. All right. So there's other ways to do this. That's why I had you download those those two uh, those two images. So let's let's show you how to do that. So there's tons and tons of sites like this. There's Shutterfly. There's Lulu. There's Snapfish. Um, there's just a ton of them. So these are kind of two that have been around forever, and um, we can make Christmas cards through here. We'll see how much they are. Um, supposedly they're some percentage off on here, 70% off all cards with Jingle CD. Well, we'll see what happens. So let's see if I can even remember how to sign in. <laughs> see if I can remember my sign in. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. I haven't been in here in a long time. So we want to make Christmas cards. So let's see cards, Christmas cards. And we want to make a upload your own design. That's what we want to do right there. And you can decide as far as there's really a lot of different styles here. Uh, is that Spanish? I don't, I don't speak Spanish. Uh, get this out of the way. Let's see. Upload your design starting at 68 cents. Upload your design. Okay, I'm going to assume this is good. I'm going to assume this is inside, outside, and quantity 80, 295 each. Um, what was the other one? 50 for 93 bucks. That seems incredibly expensive. So let's see here. All right, well, let's play. Let's just see what happens with this design. And we need to upload our own. So. Uh, we'll do square, and then we'll do 50. That seems really, really expensive, huh? 84 orders in the past three days. All right, so we've got to get our design there. So how do we get our, let's personalize. Okay. And then we hit this. And then we want to go to my computer and choose. So these are the images I had you download. So we'll grab this one and upload that one. Oh, I see. It's for the entire thing. Front. Can we hit this? And we want like this. Done. All right, we'll see what's going on. We'll hit next. That's the back. So these fold, way, but I don't want it that way. Oh, okay. So you hit this layouts, you hit that. Okay. Let's see if we can find a front and back. Let's go. We want to design our own. So, okay, this one looks like it's got front and back, even though it's in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know why, um, why it's like that. So does this have upload your design? That's 98 cents. That's 98 cents. Upload. Shutterfly, you don't make this, um, you don't make this easy because this is both the same. Let's hit this and see what happens. Okay, we just want square. Let's personalize. And then you go to layout. Okay, it's already that way. 
So that's front and back. See, that's that's stupid. I don't know. I would redesign this if it was me. So let's go back because it's very confusing. Because what's the difference between that and that? All right, let's go here. And why is this in Spanish and the other are in English? Um, they might know why when they put it up here, but we don't know why. So it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, who am I? <laughs> I'm just an idiot laying in bed teaching people how to make uh, Christmas cards on a, on a Sunday. All right, so here we go. All right, so this makes more sense. So this is kind of what we want. Front, right, left, back. Okay, so I think we can just drag this here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay, and then and that's the right side. And that's the left side. So we can... Um, Let's upload another picture. Choose photo. Let's grab this one. Okay, actually, I want that for the back. So you can't grab a picture for the back. It's got to be white. I guess it's got to be white for the back. There's no option to... I don't like that either. I'm not sure I'm too keen on... Um... And then... Font, you can fill this out. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. So it's an option, then you can put in here, and then we'll go next, and we'll just look to see how it's how it's made next. Next. In order, you can do different colors for the card. Or the inside of the card, I see, and the outside. You can do different things for the outside too. I just went back. If you go back, uh, there, that's pretty cool for the card. Let's preview. I want to preview the card next. I don't like this at all. I don't like this Shutterfly. Okay, I'm not overly crazy about that. So let's check out the uh, Snapfish, see what we can do, what, what kind of damage we can do here. And we will sign in. Valid credentials, we'll just sign in with uh, this. I'd want to do my own card. Let's just do cards. Thank you, cards, postcards, wedding cards, invitations, specialty cards, design your own. <clears throat> so here's design your own. If you just go to cards, and design your own. I mean, obviously you can order their designs. Okay, so there's a card right there. That's the one I want right there. And then um, I want to create now. Okay, and you got your different templates right here. You got your backgrounds. Let's go to photos. Let's get photo from computer. Select, let's select this one and this one. Oop, can we select both at the same time? Come on now. Yeah, we'll just do one at a time. All right, select more photos. We'll grab that one. Okay, we'll do done there. And I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to put full. So there we go. Perfect. All right, then I'm going to do inside card. Um, so background, so you can do color, all colors. This is perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot better than um, Shutterfly. Let's see, we'll go here. And then I want background again. Color, I want the same color if I remember which one it is. <laughs> okay, there it is. All right, now we got back. And can you do? 
Can I do this here? I mean, I just have to do the color. I didn't necessarily have to do the picture, right? Um, so it's kind of silly to do this, but that's okay. So there we go. I like this a lot better than Shutterfly. So I'm glad we went to did both. Went, glad we went to did both. <laughs> glad we did both. Okay, that looks great. So uh, envelope, so greats. And then we can put the address on there. Um, or we can do blank. We can put our own. Personalize. Or can we do color on the envelope? Can we do our own colors? It doesn't matter for the envelope, personally. I mean, it might for you. Uh, it wouldn't for me, which is perfectly cool. All right, let's review. Continue to review. And there we go. That's the inside. Obviously, we would write some text on there. And then if you want to go back to edit, you can just go to text here. And then um, you should be able to just click in there, I believe. Add text, OK. And then you can add text. And then if you want to bring your signature in, you can do that as well. So just get you more photos. Go to your computer, select photo. There's your signature. Done. Get your signature over here. All right, and there you go. And then you should be able to expand it. Yeah, I like this a lot better, a lot better. Um, it's more friendly, uh, more user friendly. And I would, um, let's see how much it is. Okay, continue review. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's see how many we want. Let's do 50. And then let's add to cart and see how much it is. Order anyway. Aluminum and daily, no. and then they're going to upsell you, upsell you. And then, wow, that's expensive. I wonder why it's so expensive. Check for rewards. You can save 10 automatically, probably if you sign up for a credit card or something like that. Uh, it's not my address anymore. I don't live in Arizona anymore. Um, yeah, I would go out and try to find a coupon code. That does seem kind of pricey, huh? Like maybe play around with the different options that they have there. All right, well, something else you can do is let's go back to Canva, and we can do this pretty fairly quickly. Let's close out of all of this. Let's actually, let's bring this up. Let's just uh, add a page, and we can make this white. Now, if you want to generate your own image or have AI generate an image. So I had a whole tutorial about AI images, and I did that first for a reason to show you um, that you can do these. So say your mom's into John Wayne. I just put him right here. Um, John Wayne is Santa Claus. Now I'm going to I'm gonna bookmark or put the link down for how to do the images down below, so I'm not going to rehash it all. Uh, please see that in order to uh, get to where we are at this point. And then I'll just, um, what I did is I saved this image as John Wayne. And then if you go back to your Canva, I did drag it over and it should be here someplace. There he is. And then I can just put him here as the background. And then there's the, um, there's the front of the card. And then you can do what we did, do whatever you want on the inside. And you can do it for anything like, um, you can do puppies or anything that comes to mind. Um, you just can't do like intellectual properties or anything. You can't put in Brad Pitt as Santa Claus. It won't let you come up. Okay, and then you can just uh, redo the same thing. And that's about it, gals and guys. Um, I guess I would order from from here. It seems less expensive. You can try here. Postable is the place that I normally order from. Uh, and you can make your own cards. It's probably less expensive here. Uh, get started uh, i'm not gonna waste too much more time not that we're wasting time we're having fun i think but um build me save and continue and then you can upload your image so let's upload this and there's your bleed area so if you want to move this over more in canva you can do that and then um you should be able to get inside Oh, create card, I think. Click card to upload your image. Okay, I'll create card. 
I believe once you create it, then you can go in and um, change the inside once it's created. And I don't think these are very expensive. We'll find out in just a moment. Okay, and then you can choose a card back. Of course, they're going to have their postable here. Um, you can do an image. So, all right, let's do an image. All right, let's save and continue. All right, let's just upload this just for giggles. And then you can change it if you want. Remove our logo is 20 cents extra. And logo. You might care, but I don't care. Um, okay. Design looks good. Let's go next. Name of your project. Let's put Canva. I mean, I'll put Canva. You put what you want. Maybe um, family Christmas card, something like that. Save and continue. Send to them and mail them with everyone for me. Mail them to everyone for me. Uh, so I'm going to mail and send in a box. We continue. Envelope, blank envelope. Just do blank inside. Let's see, message inside, inside card. Yep. Message inside card. So you can write there. Change the fonts. Save message. Uh, we'll do 50 cards. Add to car, we'll see how much that is. So, $191. So, all right, guys and guys, so it's kind of pricey, and I don't like the fact that you can't write on both sides of the card. I played around with it for a bit, and I don't see a way to do that. So, I would stick with... Um, Personally, I would probably stick with Snapfish, which is a very cool, clean interface. It's just very expensive. Uh, maybe you can change the paper and get it uh, down a little more, play around with that. It looks like Canva is the winner as far as pricing and ease of making the card. So I guess I would stick with them. Um, less than 100 bucks for 50 cards. And uh, it doesn't seem too, too bad at this point, especially if it's all um, if your color inside and out. All right, guys and gals, I had fun doing this, putting this together. Hopefully I can think up another Christmas project because we got a lot of days till Christmas, and uh, I'll, I'll do another one if I can think of one, or if you can think of one, put it down in the description. I'd be happy to, um, not the description, <laughs> the comments, and I'd be happy to make a tutorial. I know this one was uh, rather long. Um, I hope you got something out of it, and I hope you got plenty of time to, to create those Christmas cards. I got plenty of time until Christmas, plenty of time. It's only, uh, it's only November 5th. Yeah, I will be here before you know it. All right, gals and guys, I will catch you next time, and peace out.